All right, welcome everybody. This is Mr. Nice, and you're watching Kung Fu Fanta. I know for some of us it's after midnight here in the U.S. Sorry about that, but I had to do what I had to do at this particular time, so I'm here. So at least today, everybody in in Africa can be awake to see this instead of waiting after midnight for them. So anyway, um, what I got for you guys today, it's not going to be a long one. It's not going to be a long one for sure. Um, I'm sure I'll probably get this done in 45 minutes or less. Um, I'm thinking more towards 30 to 35 minutes, but let me go ahead and say hello to people in the chat. We have Yvette. Thank you for coming in. Angela, Miss P Talks. Uh, it's Ernest. Thank you for coming in from Nabahanzi, the famous village in Africa. And then we have uh, Far Farhia. Thank you for coming in. And Marigold. Thank you for coming in as well. And let me see what you all are saying. Um, let's see. It's 8.15 a.m. in England. You know, talking talking about Yvette. Uh, we have uh, It's Ernest saying hello to Miss P. Angela is saying it's around 3.30 uh, a.m. here in the U.S. But I'm here, so she's definitely on the East Coast. I'm on the West Coast. Ernest is saying hello, my lovely people. Remember to give the video a like, please. Yes, please, please do that. Give it a like, especially if you're up at this time of night, depending on where you're at, morning, day or night. Uh, yeah, please give a like. Please give a like. For here says, uh, thanks, Kung Fu Fanta. Uh, it's Ernest says, King, hello. Angela says, Kung Fu Fanta with a smile. And let's see. Thumbs up is done from Yvette. Mary Gold says, Kung Fu Fanta, Mr. Nice. Honey, we are here today. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate. I really do appreciate. So as you can see, it's the 15th of January and 15 days has already gone by. It's just a little too fast for me. And I thought last year in January was fast, but this is like extremely fast to me. And for those who don't know who are not in the U.S., uh, the U.S. is going through like a, a, an Arctic storm right now from the East Coast to the West Coast, from the North down South, as far as Texas, from what I heard. So we're not having it too good here. Where I'm at is one of the warmer parts in the winter. However, uh, we're getting it pretty good, especially yesterday. I was stuck out in the, in the snow, in the wind. And if it wasn't for Uber, I probably wouldn't be here today. And I'm not joking about that. So um, it's, it's pretty bad. It's, it's, it's definitely pretty bad. So for those of you who don't have to experience Arctic weather, you're lucky. You're definitely lucky. And it's not fun. And it's very dangerous. But on the other hand, let's go ahead and get this started. So everybody can see the title today. It's uh, JT, the bigger figure, Mike Ventures, Africa, Sir Edwards, the word is out. And guess who's mad? So basically, let's start with uh, JT, the bigger figure. And I'm not going to spend so much time on this live stream with him, but I really want to start with him for the simple fact there's been some new developments. There's a case study out. Uh, of lawyers and probably a bunch of other people on a particular website that I'm going to present tomorrow in a, well, actually later today, not in a live stream, but in a pre-recorded video, a website where you can actually go and check out the latest of what, to, what is going on with the case, his RICO case, with uh, somebody that he scammed that, that's suing him. And um, there's some exciting developments about it. And I don't mean exciting to see the guy go down, but what I'm, what I'm saying is it's exciting because the simple fact that this particular person is creating his own narrative on his YouTube channels over and over, like re, trying to rewrite history, trying to get that popular public opinion. So if he ever has to be, uh, which, which is it's starting to look like that way, if he have, ever has to be picked up by the police because he's not showing up for court, he's he's been served a few times, he doesn't answer the door and all that good stuff. Um you know, the, the thing is, he's going to be arrested. He's going to be arrested. You can't ignore that stuff forever. And 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 for, unfortunately, he thinks that, I guess, public opinion is going to is going to make him look like a hero at some point because he has made comments in the past that that they have ever come to get me. Uh, he's going to go out guns a blazing. So if he's true to his word when he says that, then we can expect him right now, like he's been doing to get as much of the public as he can to rally behind him, to make him look like some type of hero and some type of victim of the system, which he is not. So check out some of the other live stream videos. Like I said, I don't want to get too much into them. 
uh, on this particular live stream. But tomorrow I'm going to have that website and I'm going to explain in the video about that website where you can get this information and another website where you could, sec you could check out his uh, his businesses that he actually has and that he's not in. Uh, I think he's not in compliance, so not paying taxes. So with that being said, hang on for that for later today. I'll have that video out and uh, it'll be less than 24 hours, but I'll have that video out so you all can actually access that public information on JT, the bigger figure. Now to Mike Ventures, Africa <clears throat> and the Sir Edward situation, the word is out with them as well. So basically um, one of the last videos that Mike Ventures made um, ending the, the, the so-called conversation about Sir Edwards um, I want to bring that up and I want to react to that. Again, I'm not reacting to the Sir Edwards fellow the boy situation. I'm holding to my word. That's not going to happen. But I'm going to react to Mike on what he had said in this short video of his. And that's why this live stream is not going to be that long. Because I, want, I don't know if you all, what I'm going to bring up tonight, have noticed what I noticed. But I want everybody to really think about what it is that Mike was saying in this particular video that uh, really doesn't make sense. And if we're all adults and, you know, at least, you know, I'm not saying that everybody is, but at least 40 years or older, we should be able to understand that by now, at least by now, if, if we're borrowing money from a bank, or if we're borrowing money from somebody else, um, the good thing to do is to pay it back. And if you can't pay it back all at once, you're going to be able to have to pay back in, in installments. That's the responsible thing to do. And also another thing, lessons learned as, as we're growing up, you know, young adults into older adults, if we've ever borrowed money and we've been in debt and, and some of us are still in debt and, you know, I'm in debt right now because I got a school loan that I have to pay off from college. So I know what it's like to be in debt. But at the same time, the thing is, is that when you overdo things, or you haven't learned from your past about borrowing money, especially from a bank with interest, um, It's nobody should give you any type of pity. Nobody should give you any type of pity whatsoever. Anybody out there who hasn't taken out a, a credit card yet, who's, who's a young adult or um, you're going to college, don't take those credit cards they offer you in college. Don't do it. It's, it's not worth it. I guarantee you. It's better just to get a part-time job and make a little bit of positive income while you're spending money in school. So with that said, I want to go ahead and, and share the screen so we can get this uh, video rolling. Now, it's just going to be the audio. I'm not going to play the video part of it. And let's see here. <clears throat> make sure the audio is on. And I want to make sure you guys can hear the video before I react to it. Let me know if you can hear Mike speaking. Yes, uh, hello, beautiful people. This is Mike Ventures Africa, and uh, thank you so much for always supporting uh, Mike Ventures Africa. Thank you for my returning subscribers, and if you've not subscribed to Mike Ventures Africa, kindly consider by subscribing. Runs to five. Okay. Um, so, so go 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 ahead. And tell me, was you able to hear the audio from Mike? Free money is expensive. You know, I heard I kind of heard that term today. Um, <laughs> I was actually speaking to uh, uh, somebody in Kenya that that works with Mercy, the lawyer that I've spoke, spoken about a few times. And, um, you know, he, he said something that she's repeating. I've heard her say it in the past as well, is that uh, cheap is expensive. So when you when you say miracle, when you say free is expensive, cheap is expensive. <laughs> Nana, how are you doing? Uh, okay. Okay. Great. Yvette, thank you for, for clarifying that. So I'm going to go ahead, start that again with uh, Mike, and then I'll stop it in certain points. If you look at uh, the information, I, I give the exact title, the date and everything that he made this video and what platform it's on and all that good stuff. Here we go. Yes. Uh, hello, beautiful people. This is Mike Ventures Africa. And uh, thank you so much for always supporting uh, Mike Ventures Africa. Thank you for my returning subscribers. And if you've not subscribed to Mike Ventures Africa, kindly consider by subscribing. Runs to 5,000. Guys, this is uh, an ending story of uh, Fellow and Sir Edward. And uh, 
the last day I spoke with the Sir Edward and uh, what this man told me it's uh, he's trying to vomit all the shit and he doesn't want to involve in uh, in any YouTube uh, um, what has been going on and he's trying to recover because he has a lot to do uh, in terms of uh, his the money that he borrowed from uh, from the bank for his house in Kenya uh, for what he has been spending a lot of which is not worth of what he has been spending that is from Okay, I want to stop him right there real quick. Uh, he mentioned his house in Kenya, talking about Sir Edwards. Um, the fact is, Sir Edwards doesn't have a house in Kenya. Uh, he's he's not a citizen, so he doesn't own anything. He doesn't have a lease, so he's not, he's not leasing anything. Uh, what he has done is he's been given money over for a house to be built for him, but the house is not his. So he, what he did not do is he did not secure a lease he did not secure citizenship for seven years being in the country. He's never been to the country, as far as we know. So, therefore, that that's a that's a misnomer. It, it doesn't make any sense that he would say that. But then again, you know, I'm not playing semantics here. I, what I'm what I'm doing is just pointing out the facts. He doesn't own anything. He doesn't have a lease. From his uh, perspective, and um, he told me that. He doesn't want to involve in and or speak uh, on uh, on these issues, and uh, people should avoid, you know, uh, discriminating uh, Mike Ventures because uh, he's the one authorized uh, this project to be handed over to another person, and that is me. And uh, I'm not the one who contacted him to uh to give me the project. He has been this guy has been in touch with so many people, but at the end uh he felt comfortable of handing over the project to me so which i will not resist guys whatever it is what it is so i will not uh say no i will help this guy to to finish where the fellow left okay so it's a little interesting that um he'll go ahead and help this guy um but help this guy at to what end and he's picking up where fellow left off. Well, fellow never left off anywhere. What had happened is that uh, Sir Edward stopped sending the flow of money for the house to be completed. So there, therefore, fellow didn't leave off anywhere. It was actually Sir Edward's that led off with by not sending any more money to have this finished. Um, prices did go up for certain things. Um, I'm sure there was some mistakes made along the way by fellow the boy. I can only imagine that because mistakes are made a lot of times even on a, in a professional setting during construction. But at, at this point, I don't see the reason why Mike needs to explain himself in this way, or he just didn't do a very good job explaining himself. And, uh, you know, if for all, all those who haven't seen this particular video and, and listened to him, I would recommend going to it because we have the title right there. As long as he doesn't, you know, take it down, uh, listen to him over and over at least a couple times because what he's really talking about doesn't make any sense if you've been following the story. From because you know spending this a lot of money on a project that is not yet finished, uh, this guy might be confused and because of uh, even he had a lot of debts in the bank. Uh, that is from his word. So I just want to tell the people that we have to teamwork, we have to be realistic and uh, be open for everything. If you sign me to do a project, I will do it. I'll do it because uh, we are here to help each other. Okay, so th this is interesting that, that he's saying this. He'll sign to do the do this project, but you know, he's why why would you even make a video like this telling the telling your audience, telling anybody in the public that you're doing this project in the in the way that he's he's, he's explaining it? Um, it's not something that really needs to come out in the open. If you're going to do a project, you're going to do a project for somebody. Uh, it just it sounds like he's he's trying to create a story to cover himself in in some type of manner or cover Sir Edward in some type of manner. And and makes Sir Edward, you know, basically, I, I think he's getting paid, in my opinion. I think he's getting paid. He's getting something for it. I don't think he's actually doing this just so he can complete the project where, where allegedly Fellow the Boy had left off. 
No, I, I really think that he's got some incentives that are coming from Sir Edward, or maybe he's trying to get something out of Sir Edward. Uh, time will tell. But at this point, he's accepting the project where the project already has a history, a recent history of um, one person blaming the other for a scam. One's being blamed for scamming. The other one's being being blamed for being blamed for scamming, if that makes any sense. If I didn't make any sense, just let me know in, in, in the comment section or in the chat. But I, I don't feel that that um, Mike is being sincere in any type of way in this situation. What I really feel like he's just making excuses, and I really think he wanted this project. And what I really think he's doing on top of it is trying to activate donations, in my opinion, on top of it from other people. Other people that would see this and probably say, oh, well, he's a nice guy. He's helping this old man, Sir Edwards, in America, who's been ripped off by a Kenyan in the village. And I, I think, well, I'm just going to go out, go ahead and... and and donate to Mike in some of his other projects that he's doing in Nambahanzi. That's my opinion. But again, we, you know, we got about five more minutes of this video. So let's go. So do you think this house is just going to be abandoned because uh, a fellow is not going, is not going back for this project? Because even this guy told me, Mike, I don't even have the money to finish my house. What am I going to do? That house is going to be there without uh, without finishing it. So it's very sad also. And I want just to tell the people who think uh, maybe Mike Ventures is the one who turned fellow. This is not true. I always say this, and because everyone watching this video, even Sir Edward is watching this video. So Edward came to the board and explained. Uh, I, I know you saw the comment. Is uh, This guy came with the lead T. He's the one who did the comment, it's Sir Edward. So let's not blame each other. Let's be realistic. This guy has spent a lot of money. And uh, and the most sad is uh, he took a lot of money from the bank that he has to pay debt and his house is not finished. Okay. So he just said there, so I didn't know anything about this until Mike came out with this video on the third of this month. So even, even if he did take money out from the bank, which is, which is a, a loan, right? He's got to pay interest. He's got to pay it back at some point. He's got to pay interest. When it uh, when it it be smart of of Sir Edward to basically have a lot of money, some type of assets already in place, so when it's time to pay it back, that he has the money to do so. So basically, it it, it sounds like um, what Mike is doing is 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 trying to make everybody feel a little bit guilty for the situation that Sir Edwards is in, which I don't feel guilty at all. For a simple fact, I never told the man to get a loan, to buy uh, to buy a project to have built in Kenya, when you're not even a Kenyan citizen and you can't own anything, or or you know at, at the very least, he didn't even buy a lease. He didn't buy anything. All he all he's doing is is that he's taking the word of whoever in Kenya saying this is what you can do. And, and I'm sure they don't even know all the particulars because they're not lawyers. They don't work for the immigration office. They don't they don't work for other agencies in Kenya to, to know what they're talking about. All they're doing is collecting money and then they're building. And then the man himself thinks, thinks it's okay. So basically, check this out. Even if the project was finished, the fellow boy completed it 100% with the money that was sent with him, sent to him, excuse me. And it was still a bank loan. Wouldn't Sir Edward still have to pay back that bank loan? That's the biggest part that doesn't make any sense. Because when I first heard this video, it 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 didn't dawn on me until later in the day I started thinking about it. I was like, wait a minute, he took out a bank loan and he's complaining that he got ripped off. And he's looking to get get his money back, but he realizes he might not be able to. And this all started, as far as I know, the 14th of December last year. But here on the 3rd of January, as you can see on the screen, now Mike is saying that the Sir Edward back in the States took out a bank loan to have this project, his house built for him. So he knew he was going to have to pay back that money. So whether the house was finished or not, whether if he got ripped off or not, he would still have to pay back that money with interest. And let's just say interest didn't apply, because, but banks don't banks don't work that way. He would still have to pay back the fifty three thousand three hundred thirty dollars, or the sum of fifty thousand dollars, 
as Mike was saying, back to that bank. So should anybody feel sorry for a, a man who is older than me, who's who's old enough to be a lot of people's grandfathers, probably in the chat? Should we feel sorry for a man that 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 did that, knowing he doesn't own any property, he doesn't own anything, not even a lease in Kenya? Because I can't see myself uh, feeling sorry for him. I I you know I'm I'm not. Uh, bad mouthing him because of that because of that bad decision but it's a bad decision if he's in a position to where he cannot pay back he doesn't know how he's going to pay it back that's all the fault of his own and so it really doesn't make any sense that mike is here trying to defend the situation that sir edwards finds himself in by borrowing money made on his own decision You know, I don't have the best uh, money management skills, you know, personally myself, but I, I'll tell you what, I'm not going to take out a loan <laughs> on a house that I know I can't pay back, whether if I got ripped off on the house being built or not. That right there makes makes no sense to me. Let me see what you're all saying real quick. Um, let's see. Angela said uh, he should have just gave the project to Mike in the first place. Uh, Vet says the land is fel in fellow's name. Nana says, uh, "I told you I suspect money laundering," and that's 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 definitely a, a situation that that's been coming up a lot. A lot of people are talking about that. Uh, Angela says, uh, uh, "Why he why he take out a a bank loan?" Dang, I thought he was uh, rich. I thought he was rich too. You know, by the way, everybody's talking. I thought he's rich, and maybe he is rich, and maybe he's lying. But you know, maybe 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 he was flossing. He was flossing through WhatsApp. He was flossing through IG. However, he was trying to contact these people or have been contacting these people in Navahanzi. Maybe he was flossing over the internet. You know, and, and most people that, that I realize that floss a lot, they floss until they can't floss anymore. So maybe he can't floss anymore because he has no more money. Uh, Columbus Hill, thank you for coming in. Uh, so let's see who else. Uh, we have Nani says um, he has to pay back to the bank in any case. True, true. Uh, Yvette says, Nana donations like Marwa. Uh, Nana says, even Marwa with donations cannot finish his house. Very true. Uh, Yvette says, uh, um, let the bank foreclose. Uh, Nana says, uh, uh, what is Mike's problem taking someone else's responsibility? Good question. Uh, Columbus Hill came in. Salute Kung Fu Fanta, the Lazy Gang, chat, keyboard reactors. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Nana says, uh, yes, because why is he trying to recoup the money? And he's he's probably been tricking off that money. If if I if I had any guess, he was he was tricking off money locally here in the U.S. While at the same time giving money to fellow the boy and now Mike to try to finish that finish that house. So if you're tricking at the same time, you're giving money out to, to something to a project you don't even own, then then you, no, you can only blame yourself for being money stupid. Angela said, uh, well, I don't feel sorry for him. He should have researched it in the first, uh, first, but that fellow, damn fellow, why you take on that project? Why you do, why you do with, uh, uh, money fellow, um, that, you know, like I said before in that other live stream, fellow should have never taken that money for a personal project. And, um, uh, what I'm gathering right now, and, and I'll have to speak to mercy uh, about it just to get real details. The gentleman I was speaking to today, I uh, won't mention his name, but I was speaking to him today um, to protect himself. He basically, any money that he donates in Kenya, he goes through a local NGO. So therefore, as far as charity is concerned, um, it makes sense. You, you, you can get a receipt and everything for all the participation you do with the local NGO. And then that way, you know, you're not blamed for any money laundering or any, anything else or um, let's say you're donating out of your pocket some food and people get sick, you know, in, in Kenya with food that you had donated, you can be blamed. I mean, some serious stuff can happen as, as far as I know, that's, that's what could happen. Things of like, things like that have happened. So yeah, um, it's, it's right now, Sir Edwards is just money stupid all the way around. Uh, let's see. Nana says, uh, or he was trying to use the loan to build in Africa and escape without paying. Yeah, but that, that <laughs> you could still get in trouble 
you know what I mean? You can still get in trouble. You know, you have U.S. citizenship. Um, you have a U.S. embassy in Kenya. Uh, U.S. embassy has the FBI in Kenya. And once they locate you, if they're looking for you, then they'll come and find you and they'll get you. Plain and simple as that. Yvette says, uh, Angela Fellow will finish his house because donators are supporting him. Nana says, okay, why doesn't he get an accountant to take the inventory of the current cost of the building? He's probably not even thinking of any of that stuff. Mary Gold says, uh, Mr. Nice is pole dancing included <laughs> in this money tricking with a, a pink gate. Yeah, I, I, I thought about that pink gate. Why is it pink? It's not like pink isn't on certain things and on buildings in Kenya, but it, it's it's a it's a black border with very bright pink, and it just really stands out out of, out of everything else. I can only imagine in Nambahanzi, there's nothing else pink like that for a man. That I mean, you you'll have gentlemen wearing pink shirts and won't think nothing of it, but pink gate, and he uses the word milf in one of his videos that he took down. On a, on a profile that he took down, the one I showed you guys, which is STS dealings. Yeah, yeah, that, that pink gate is very suspect, very suspect. Okay, so Angela says, uh, finish the house for what? If he took out a loan, he probably can't get it get get to Africa. <laughs> True, and if you do, you must go and rent a house from, yeah. Yeah, and, and you know what? Let, let's just listen to the rest of this, but I want to hear what, let's, let's read what, what Ernest says. Uh, Mike, he is uh, like Marwa. He is so jealous for everyone. Trust me. Okay. Well, well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go against your word on that because just by the way that uh, Mike has been moving, I, I, he's too suspicious for me. You know, I, I was hoping he would be one of the good guys, but some of the things that he's been doing this last couple months and his interaction with me last month about the Sir Edwards thing, I I don't trust the guy at all. I really don't. So let's continue with the uh, the reaction. Here we go. And uh, from uh, from uh, Sir Edward's side, he said even he doesn't know if he's going to finish this project because he doesn't have uh, money to finish the, the the house. So I would ask Sir Edwards, why why Sir Edwards? Why would you even start a project without any concrete uh, safety nets, as, such as? having a lawyer representing you and and basically making sure that if there's a contract with a registered business, being fellow of the boy being a registered business for construction, who could be sued, who could be found, and so that way he can be sued, why would you do that? That's, that's a good question I would like to know. Why would you do that? Uh, Sir Edward, why don't you just make an audio and just let, let us hear your side of the story uh, what made you trust fellow the boy or anybody? What gave you the idea to even contact anybody in Navahanzi to think about building you a house? So, guys, I put this in your shoes. If it was uh, uh, you having this project, let's be uh, realistic and uh, see the what is, has been happening. Uh, I feel I'm not perfect. Uh, no one is perfect. We have a lot of challenges, but the reality has to remain that that money that the, this guy has spent, it's quite a lot for a project that has not finished. And they still have, uh, we still have the, this project still have some debt that uh, other people have to be paid. So. So what would I do in that situation? Well, first of all, it, if I, if I didn't, first of all, <laughs> I wouldn't even take the money. It's it's personal. If it's a personal project, I it, I would try to make no, not try. I would actually make sure that I had capital that if I was in business to take Sir Edward's money to hire me to complete his project, I would make sure that I'm insured, that I'm registered, and that everything is on the up and up. And I would also let him know that if prices change due to the economy, things can go up, they can go down. That actually does happen here in the US during construction projects. So that that's what that's what I would do on my side, but but outside of that, I wouldn't take the money at all. I wouldn't even put myself in that situation because right now fellow the boy is in a situation where a lot of people are looking at him 
and pointing the finger at them for for taking the money. And a lot of people are saying that he's a thief. A lot of people are saying that he scammed Sir Edward. The thing is, we don't know for sure. I'm sure there's a few people that know for sure, but we don't know for sure, right? Outside of those people, if he is a thief or if he's a, if he is scamming. Like I said before, I do believe there's miscommunication between these two men. And now I see, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Sir Edward's idea to contact Mike. Because uh, Mike said he didn't contact Sir Edward. I believe that he did contact Mike thinking that just because what Mike is doing in his videos that he's a better person for completing the house. However, why would Mike get himself in a sticky situation like this? That's a good question as well. And that doesn't make any sense. Let's go. From my side, because uh, Edward told me what uh, he has to fix is the windows. Uh, the the tiles has to be fixed, but he doesn't know when because he doesn't have money. So let's uh, s uh, tell the people that uh, Edward said that he doesn't want to get involved in uh, any YouTube conflicts. Is uh, is going? To All right, stop it right there. It, he or he already is involved in YouTube conflicts. The, the it, this was even before the fourteenth of December when you called me, Mike. OK, the simple fact that he got involved with the YouTuber and he doesn't own he doesn't even own a lease. Right. He didn't buy a lease from from anybody from the government to to give him a 99 year lease. He's already in conflict with the YouTuber. Then you come to me basically wanting to help him. So you're siding with Sir Edward and you were not siding with fellow the boy in that conversation. If you remember. OK, and then I spoke to him the same day. If you remember, it was still on the side of Sir Edward. That's why I wasn't going to make no reaction, because I can't side with either one of you got either one of the guys. So it's you inserted yourself into something or you allowed yourself to be inserted by Sir Edward. You allowed to be allowed yourself to be manipulated because this guy is getting involved or trying to get involved with a lot of different YouTubers, whether if it's through IG or WhatsApp given out information about fellow the boy no he wants to be involved in these dramas because he's created a lot of these dramas himself i'm sure he didn't create them all but he created a lot of these dramas himself so mike if if, if that's what you really believe i don't know what to tell you but you're wrong let's go through a lot and i just want to recover from his health and um and uh, see the next step so Let's not uh, uh, do a lot of uh, a lot of hatred or a lot of uh, uh, people think Mike Ventures is. I will I will I will deliver the project. That is the fact. Uh, if so I don't tell. Okay, so you'll deliver the project. That that's that's the words coming out of your mouth. You will deliver the project. That's a fact. That's what you're saying right now. You know, and and the other thing, going back a little further. Who's really hating on anybody? Who's really hating on Fellow the Boy? Who's really hating on Sir Edward, who doesn't have a, apparently a, a quote unquote official YouTube channel? Who's really hating on you? I don't see anybody hating on anybody. I do see a lot of people saying they're hating on what they're hearing and what they're seeing. They're, they, you know, does, it just, just because somebody hates something doesn't mean they hate the person for the things that they do. So I, I, that's really like like a blank statement. Why would you even bring that up? To be honest with you, why don't you just 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 tell us the truth? What is really going on? Why are you really taking over this project? Because right now you just said you, you, this is a fact. You're going to finish the project, and you're going to finish the project with whose money? Is it going to be donations for other projects, and you're going to pour it into this personal project? That's what I would like to know, because as far as what I've been told from Sir Edward, he doesn't want to spend any more money. And, and as far as you're concerned, based off of this video, it doesn't sound like he has any more money. So where's the money going to come from, Mike? Let's go. Tell me, Mike, bring someone to slash at the compound. I'll, I'll take someone there as long as we are doing it the right way, you know, giving the delivering quality projects. Why not? If this guy saw that I'm 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 going to finish his house, then let me finish. I will not care what people will will speak. You know, at the end. 
Well, you should care about what some people uh, will speak of you, Mike, because, um, you know, word has it, and you've said it yourself, you run an NGO, a registered NGO in Kenya. Is it really registered anymore? Did you lose the registration for some reason? Mike, is your NGO legitimate anymore, the one you had, or do you still actually have it? Can we verify that with, with a certain agency in Kenya and Nairobi? Can we verify that you still have this NGO? Is anybody is anybody or everybody going to trust you after listening to this video? Or what about the people that will never run across this video and, and know about the situation and they're going to pour money into you? Are you going to take a little bit of that money and you're going to pour it into this man's house, a house that he does not even own? Let's go. And at the end, our, 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 we are all survivors. You know, we, we have to be real. At the end, I will be remain Mike Ventures. Whether you say you will speak bad about Mike Ventures or about other people, I, I, I don't care. And I feel bad because people don't know. Well, you should care because if I'm not mistaken, when I was on a live stream panel with you, AM Carroll, Max One, you know, you were talking a lot about reputation that day and you were talking about your reputation. I was even bigging you up talking about your reputation based off the stuff that you were, you were telling me that day, telling all of us that day that you've been doing this for years, that you have another YouTube channel where you've been doing charity work and you have videos to prove it. I was even the one who said something like, I think, uh, make a website so you can have like a uh, testimonials between your old YouTube channel and the YouTube channel you have now. But with the YouTube channel you have now, I, I've already caught you, you know, doing clickbait. I, I am Marwa told me something in the title, right? Something like that. And he had a photo of you and I am Marwa. But the video, 37 minutes long and some seconds, had nothing to do about I am Marwa at all. And when I asked you that question, you got rid of that title, changed it, and you changed the thumbnail so it actually matches the video. So you're clickbaiting. It, it's hard It's hard to trust you, but you should be concerned about what people think of you, especially now. Let's go. You are not in this community. I wish you guys, uh, if it was you, <clears throat> and I just want to say you are not from this community. You don't know uh, what ha is happening in this community. So I wish one day you people are complaining. Come to this community. Just go around and see the buildings, the, 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 the mansion, for the people and uh and it's made the budget and the cost these these houses are beautiful okay mike none of that made any sense um first of all there's been people um max one included who has shown like other mansions in Navahanzi, even i think just outside of Navahanzi as well we already know about these homes that they exist in Navahanzi. we already know that people with money live in Navahanzi. What in the world does that have anything to do with what you're talking about? We don't know anything about the community. There's actually a lot of people. It's already been represented that people with money in your community have money. They live there. So we already know that's old news. So what is it that you're really trying to tell us? Let's go. And what this, Sir Edward has spent from his perspective and what he thinks that his house is not worth of the the money that he has been spending. So let's let's support each other. Let's not be on the other side. Let's bring people together. And but but what other side? When you're saying bringing people together, what you're talking about is let's stop the division and bring everybody together. But here you are, you, you're you're siding with the person who's been creating a lot of division, who doesn't seem to want to rectify that that division that he has already caused. He ain't the only one that causes that division, but he himself has caused a lot of division. So why are you supporting somebody that's been causing a lot of division in that village, the village where you are from? Do you not care about the community in your village? And you're probably saying, well, that's a stupid question to ask me. And it would be a stupid question. But really, if you think about with everything going down and what you're saying in this video, it's not really a stupid question. Let's go. And 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 see the reality of of everything so i don't want to talk a lot but for sir edward say that he doesn't want to involve in anything so that house 
whether it's going to be abandoned or whether it's going to be there, uh, it's Mike Venture is going to take care of the, the that house. If anything happened at, at this time, so it's me to be blamed because everything is handover on my name. So, and I, people should not think I'm the one who took fellows the boys project. No, and I these are I, and they, this is the reality. They know. Okay, you just got done saying that everything is handed over in your name, but don't think that Mike Ventures took over. That's hypocritical. I don't, I don't, I don't even think you realize what, what it was that you just said. I understand. I, I make mistakes too sometimes when I speak. But I, I really don't think you understood what you said, and you probably thought about it later. And if you if you did, you should have edited it out of the video. But you went ahead and said that everything is now in your name, but you're not trying to take over the project. Which one is it? Know what they did. They know what they did. So I will not afraid anyone. I will speak. They don't. Know, they know what they did for 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 the project. If they had the problem, they had conflicts, mm -hmm. and I know these conflicts between uh, Felo and Said were started before even uh, uh, doing uh, doing the investigation. And no one did the investigation. I never did any investigation for Said. I never contacted Said for for his project. So. These are uh, these pro these problems started before. So let's be real. Let's come and speak the truth. Thank you so much, and may God bless you. Okay, Mike. So thank you for letting us know what what you had to say in this video. But this video <laughs> leads to a lot more questions to than than answers. You hardly answered anybody's question. But if people listen to you a couple times, you you really did answer the questions. But it, it sounds like you're, you're going back and forth within this video. And I can only imagine you've probably done this with with other people in other projects prior to Sir Edwards. And, and another question I, I would have to ask myself, you know, not necessarily to ask you directly, but to ask myself, why would you want to get yourself involved in such a messy situation? Don't you have an NGO? Don't you have a reputation to protect? But you decided to take this on. It, it makes no sense. And even doing a video with fellow the boy at the project doesn't help any. It, it Again, it only raised more questions. It really did. It only raised more questions. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing this video, guys. That's, that's enough of the reaction to Mike and what he had to say. I got that just under 40 minutes. But let me go ahead and read your comments. I know you guys were talking a lot. I probably won't be able to get all of them. You're going to keep uh, talking more. RH42, uh, thank you for coming in. I see you there in the chat. Okay, let me start here. So Nana says, uh, maybe Edwards is using him to collect the money from Philo to finish the house. Uh, Miss P uh, Talk says, Mike was jealous of Philo the boy and wanted some of, the, some of what he thought Philo had. That's what it sounds like to me. In this video, basically, that, that's what it sounds like. Um, what's an NGO? NGO stands for non-governmental organization. In America, they would call it a 501c3. It's the exact same thing, just a different des designation name. Um, Angela says, remember Yvette, Mike said, nobody's perfect. Yvette says, oh, oh Mike Charity. RH42 says, the thing is, fellow the boy is one, is the one that showcase uh, Mike Ventures on his channel. That's how many of us get to know Mike Ventures. That I didn't know, but I, I know I've, I've seen uh, in the past where fellow the boy has walked around around the village and has, has bumped into Mike on a few occasions. And um, that's basically, I think, I think that's how I found out about Mike. Ms. Peach says, uh, the NGO does not belong to Mike Ventures, uh, anyhow, according to the word on the streets, okay? Uh, Nana says, uh, how does he finish the house with Edwards not having uh, any more money to spend on the house? How is he going to finance the house? Good question. Ms. P talks, Kung Fu Fanta, he's forgotten that. Mary Gold says, Yvette, an NGO, okay, so she's already answered, my, um, answered the question. Uh, Yvette says, uh, "What the hell? Why is Mike destroying his reputation?" Yeah, and what? And and plus, he's married. I mean, I can only imagine his wife. You know, I don't like to bring her into it, but I can only imagine that at some point, you know, she she's got to be embarrassed. I know she's totally supportive of Mike, like like any wife should be of their husband. 
but um she I, I can only imagine the embarrassment sometimes because this is embarrassing to be honest with you so as it says uh but with all the seriousness it's a mess and only these guys involved can work things out law may have to take take its course nana says uh is he talking from a video because he's not answering your questions? Uh, yes, I was basically, that's a pre-recorded video of his. And so therefore I was just reacting to that video. What I, what I did is just took a still image, did not play the video, just the audio of the video. Uh, that says, uh, Mike Ventures is breaking my heart. Um, Nana says, and what has that got to do with him? Uh, Angela says, no, no, he's trying to activate donations. Mike's trying to get the free money to finish his house. Uh, Marigold says, Mike Ventures, no one is complaining. No one cares what you do with yourselves. But please, if you take care of minors, have a co-science. Okay. Yvette says, Angela, donators uh, need to needs to keep pockets closed. I would say, Ernest, if you're still in here, <laughs> Ernest, if you're still in here, man, say something. Um, so, because this is what I'm about to say. People need to close their pockets to that village right now, period. In my opinion, they just need to close their pockets to that village. Close your M-Pesa, close your World Remit, everything. Anana says uh, he is trying to collect donations to finish the house. I think I already read that. Um Mike Ventures has been jealous of fellow the boy from the onset. That's why he crawled on his belly to put his venom to bring down fellow the boy. Ooh. Okay. Um, then why does he want to go on with the house if the owner doesn't want it? Uh, Edwards, uh, Edwards would have been better off if he would have just left fellow to get the donations to finish the rest of the house. Uh, what you all think? Let me read that again. Yeah, <clears throat> that, I mean, that, that, that probably could work, but still, I, I wouldn't want to donate to somebody's uh, selfish personal project. And especially if I knew that, if that's what it's for, no, you wouldn't be getting my money. Uh, Mr. Nice, uh, this guy on live talking, are you... Okay, we've already... I think you were asking me a few times to get my attention. Uh, Mary Goat, uh, RH42 artwork. Uh, Mike has forgotten he came on Cleo and Carol and on trending reaction and insisted Philo wasn't registered. Um, and okay, you know what? I, th I think I remember that. I think I remember that part now. Um, if you, if Mary if you ever want, you know, my IG is open. If, if you know the timestamp on that video, because I have no idea which video now, if you happen to know that, um, if you could please share it, I'm, I might be able to bring it out, or at least I can just watch it again. Uh, Angela says, Yvette, it seems like the donations coming in more of these charities and house building mean more than ever. Yeah. Uh, Mike doesn't care. He don't need my subscription. Angela says, the do these donators got coins. Yvette says, Angela, yes, Ortega Survival needs uh, donations. Miss P says, so he is conflicting himself. They know what uh, what they did, what they do according to Mike Ventures. Uh, well, okay, I see you in this real quick. What did you say? I know he is in here. We can't, we can't, he, he talk, okay. Oh, okay. So, Ernest, if you thought he's, he was with me on the panel, he wasn't. I was just playing back his video, if that's what you're saying. Yvette says, uh, Philo says he will be starting a company. Uh, Nana says, in all honesty, um, why, how does, like, want to take and finish the house if Edwards has no more money? Was Edwards not given a quote to know how much was needed? Okay, uh, servant of God, thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. And uh, yes, brother, I'm in. Okay, so you're responding to. Um, so you probably have something more to say. Let me scroll down. Okay, that's 
it's earnest. I wanted to, I wanted to hear, I wanted to hear if you had anything to say about any of this, man. If you do, just say one, just say one sentence of something if you can. If 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 you decline, that's okay. I, I'm not I'm not trying to pressure you. Um, but uh, you you know, I, Mike disappointed me. He really disappointed me. And it's not like I put full trust in him, to be honest with you, because I, I take a, a very long wait and see approach to people, you know, you and everybody else. That's what I do. And uh, if, if, if you come out that you're, you know, you're what looks to be to a lot of people a saint and that's great. But, you know, and I, I know people make mistakes, but if somebody like did something that was mischievous to somebody. And but all before that, it was good. Then that that person was just waiting for the time to do something like that, to scam somebody, you know, to to steal from somebody or or whatever. Then then I'll never respect that person ever again. So for me, when it comes to Mike, um, it appeared that he had the only NGO, only grassroots NGO in Nabahanzi. And so, you know, everything will come out in the wash later. And as we as it seems he might not have that NGO. You might know if he has one or not. I would like to know if he actually has this NGO that he said he had months ago that he's had for years. I would like to know that because right now, the way he's been moving, the way he's been talking, I don't trust him. Um, personal. Okay. Yvette says personal projects. No, no, that's right. Uh, Nana says, uh, because this makes no sense. He has, he was claiming himself as the custodian of the house. Yeah. And, and again, it's like, um, why would you do that when it's as messy as it is right now? It, it only adds more suspicion. It only adds more questions to to Mike himself. Why are you getting involved like this? Even even if Sir Edward came to him directly, still, why would you accept it? You know, it, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, why didn't why didn't uh, Sir Edward uh, build his house in Trinidad? Because now no way. Could he pull such a stunt? No one, excuse me, on no Trinidadian. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's a good question. I, and, and again, that, that comes down to maybe the whole Marwa persona of what Nabahanzi is, is given a false expectation, giving people false expectations of what you can and cannot get away with in Nabahanzi. And I, I, I really do feel that uh, Marwa is responsible for that image because he says a lot and then other people says you know things that he says is not true you can't do this you can't do that but he makes it seem like yeah you could just do just about anything you want in that village and i don't believe that for one minute i do not believe that for one minute at all and and i know some people somebody somewhere will say well why don't you quote where he said that um i can't so i'm just going i'm going on limb i can't and I'm not taking notes, but I've heard him say a lot of things on things that you can do in that village to people that are coming in. And I know a lot of other people have heard him say things too. And even though he's not part of this situation, the thing is, is that he gives off the idea. And I think Sir Edwards is one of these people that got the idea that he can do, probably do anything he wants to in Nabahanzi. So he got that idea from somewhere. I don't think he thought it up just himself. So, all right. I'm guessing he wants to use the house for his content and hence took the contract. <clears throat> yeah, because pretty much a lot of his content is is what? Building houses, uh, um, helping uh, widows, helping uh, kids and stuff like that. Um, and, and you never know. He's, he's probably doing something like this. What I'm about to say is, He's probably taking the project knowing that Sir Edward can't pay. And it, there, there will be a story coming up later that, well, he wasn't able to pay. So, you know, somebody's got to take responsibility. So I'm going to take responsibility. And then we're going to give the house to charity or maybe we're going to turn it into some type of, I don't know, halfway house for something for, for, I don't know. You know, that. You can, you can, we can all think of a lot of different things, but I'm thinking that might happen. Something like that might happen. Somebody's going to acquire this property. Somebody's going to get either a house for free or somebody's going to get a house for very cheap. So I, I really don't think Mike's, Mike's hands is, is, is clean in this 
or later on it's they're not going to be clean all right I, I really i really do feel that way so okay so here we go uh marigold says my biggest fear with uh mimi is with me is uh is him saying he is not perfect as if to let us know he's a wolf in the night yeah I, I, again i i think he stumbled over a lot of his words in in that short video it's less than eight minutes y'all go check out that video download it for yourself for for some of those who are taking notes download it you know and um because i have a feeling he's going to take that video down after this i really do have that feeling or maybe he thinks in his mind that he said everything is correct and that's that's what that's where i stand and that's that's the way it is and I don't feel that I, I made any mistakes in what it was that I was saying. He might be thinking that, but I, I do, I do feel he's made a lot of mistakes because it's obvious to me, because if it got me to think about it two or three times on the same day, and I've had to talk to quite a few people between then and now on how I felt about it, there's, there's something wrong with that video, what he said in that video. And maybe I'm just seeing things that other people don't see, but I actually spoke to somebody yesterday that we're, we're talking about the situation and actually two people, and they both said the same things to themselves. That's what I noticed too, pretty much is what they're saying. So I'm not the only person that, that heard these words and knew that there was something wrong with the words in this video. So it's, 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 a, it's just makes the whole situation even more messy and now he's he's a, he's a third wheel. But just remember, he contacted me first on the 14th of December. So that also leads me to believe, and I'm just speaking for myself on this, is that he's he was interested in this project. By contacting me, and, and I was either the first or second person that he contacted, I feel he wanted something to do with this project regardless what anybody else says. Uh, Miss P has 100%. I want to see what that says. Exactly 100% Kung Fu, but when that happens, we will know because he is not putting it on YouTube. <clears throat> okay, well, I'm pretty surprised I was able to get this around 45 minutes, but I've been reading y'all's comments. I wanted to read, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut this. I'm going to shut this live stream down. Uh, Real Life TV, thank you for coming in. And um, servant of God, thank you for coming in. Um, if you didn't see the the beginning of my video was about JT, the bigger figure. Uh, go ahead and just just listen to that after the five minute intro of music. And uh, I'm gonna have something later today, uh, a pre recorded video about JT, the bigger figure, because he was part of this vid this live stream. Um, so I just wanted to bring him up first, and then I was mainly reacting to Mike. So. Everybody, thank you again for coming in. I really do appreciate it. And uh, you're all great. You're very supportive. we got 42 people watching. Uh, please get the likes up. Share out this video. And if anybody besides Ernest knows uh, Mike, uh, maybe you want you all want to talk to him and uh, see if you could talk some sense into the guy. Because if, if I was him, even at this point right now, and if I had a conscience, I would drop that project. I would not involve myself any more in that project than what fellow the boy has or anybody else because it's it, it doesn't look it doesn't look good it doesn't look good to me on my side okay so this is mr nice you're watching kung fu fanta and on that note everybody i'm out